Okay, today what I thought we would do is we are gonna go over um, the lines and talk about the lines a little bit more and how to get those rolling if you haven't started those and then how to make the stem. It curves here and then goes into a point and then it, it comes out and curves out. You can kind of see that across the top right here. You see that? That's the way I want you to do it. Just like that where it, it curves into a point. And so you can see the other ones, how I have the curve on there too. And what I've done to do this is I've just taken my ruler and I pushed into the clay. And then once I pushed in there really pretty hard, I'm not trying to dig out clay, I'm just trying to push it in. Once I've done that, then I come back and I take my thumb and I just smooth it. And I just try to curve this down. And I don't really want a double line on there, but I want to curve that down. So I'm slowly working it down. And that's how I get that on there. Um, and I'm just pushing it down. I'm not taking the knife and carving it. Don't do that because a lot of times kids will carve right through the pumpkin because they're trying to put the lines in and you don't want to do that. You want it to make, make it look um, like it's more rounded on the top and then more of a point down here a sharper edge down in here. And then so I put the ruler in, I'm pushing in pretty hard and I'm trying to get that sharp edge in the very center of that line. So I'm really working these and I spend some time on these. So don't think that you can do them just in minutes. I know I have some students that think that they can just throw it together in just a few minutes. And it looks exactly like what they did, like they threw it together in a few minutes. And I don't want that. Take your time, do a good job. Do the best you can do, okay? If you still get this line a little bit across here, you can still paddle lightly, paddle, and try to get that out if it's a problem, okay? Or if you have any kind of lumps. You can also go back with your spoon and start cleaning it up like this, smoothing it. Don't let it get too dry. We do not want this bone dry. We want this uh, more leather hard, um, and so be careful, don't let it dry out. And you can smooth this and clean it up and get rid of all the marks and lumps and bumps and it should look pretty good. So now I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep this as my bottom. It really it won't matter what is my bottom or my top and this will be my top, okay? So, um, and again, please make sure that you do a good job with this. Take your time, do a good job I, you know, I want you to be proud of this when you bring it in. I want to be amazed at your awesomeness. Okay, so um, keep working on these and see if you can improve these. Um, so I've got this one here. I've got another pumpkin that I'm still working on here. And you can see I've just got the ball of shape of it. And remember, when you get it to this point, the best thing to do is to smooth it and paddle it first before you start putting the lines in. Don't try to put the lines in before you got it smoothed and paddled. It'll be easier to do it now than um, to put the lines in and then try to smooth it out. So spend some time really cleaning this up and don't let it get too hard. It can't be bone dry. I don't want it to be bone dry. I want it to be leather hard. And so I've gotta be careful not to let this get too dry. And because when it dries out, it hardens up and then you got a problem. Um, and we have to continue to work on that. And I can continue working on these little lines and getting rid of those. And I can clean that up and uh, make that into a pumpkin and it'll be good to go. If it, if it gets kind of like oblong, you can just push it down and then roll it all the way through. And I, I keep on doing it, so not doing too good. Okay, that's good enough. So I've got this big old fat coil here. Now what I want to do is I want to take this coil and I want to make it into like a square. So what I'm doing is I'm trying to create like um, corners on here. I'm trying to make these edges flat. See how I'm doing that? I'm trying to make these edges flat. So I'm trying to kind of flatten up these edges, make them kind of sharp. See right there? I'm making this a sharp edge and the sides flat, not rounded, flat. Okay. And I could 
tap it down on the table like this if I want to, to make those edges. Okay, so you see that right there? I kind of made some sharp corners here. And I could try this, you know, if this works out better for me. So I've got kind of made like a square piece of clay. I mean, if I had a slab, I could cut it in a square. If I wanted to do that, I could do it. Um, but in this case here, um, this is this is fine. Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to push down on one side. I want to push it down. Okay, so you see what I did here is I just kind of push that in. I'm gonna push it in. Mine's a little bit dry. My clay's a little bit dry. So um, if it's super dry and you're getting cracking, you can try to add some water. Remember not to smooth it with water. We don't do that. We just wanna rehydrate it. So if you have to, you can put some water on there. Okay, so I'm just kind of like flattening it down right like this. Okay, so I've kind of flattened it down. Now what I want to do is I want to make like some little peaks here. Some little, like a little V with my knife here. And you can do it with your knife or you can do it with your fingers, you know, if you want to. I'm just going to make some little V shapes. You see what I'm doing there? I'm kind of making a V shape. And they can vary. You can make some big ones and some small ones. Okay, so I've got this type of thing right there. Now what I want to do is I want to pinch these down and not make them look like a slab. I want to make them look more rounded, maybe a little bit longer, maybe a little shorter, depending on what you like. Okay, and I'm just kind of pinching these down, making them thinner. Okay, you see what I got there? Now, if I like them shorter, I could make them shorter. I could just tear some off here and make them shorter. If I don't like them that long, I can do that. Okay, now I've got my square here. Now, So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come and taper it so that it gets smaller as it gets to the top. As it gets to the top of the stem, I wanna make it smaller. I wanna just like, I'm pinching it down and as I work to the very top of it, I'm making it a bit smaller. So it's smaller up here and thicker up here. So that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to pinch this up and kind of pinch it upward. Okay, so now I got it kind of long if you look at it. Um, so um, after I get that pinched upward, what I want to do is I'm going to give it a few twists. I'm going to twist it up. And I'm getting a little cracking here because my clay is a little bit dry. If it were a little more plastic, I wouldn't have that problem. Okay, but I can fix this. I can fix all that right there. So, um, I'm gonna put this in my slip, right here, I'm gonna put this in my slip bowl. Look right here, I have some slip. I'm gonna put it in there and just let it dissolve. And so I have slip in there. So now what I can do here is I can try to smooth these parts together where it's cracking. And I'm just gonna take my finger and smooth it together. I wanna to preserve like this twisting motion on this because I think that's what makes it look more like a stem. So I see the twist on there, I wanna preserve that. And I'm just gonna kind of smooth this up all the way. Now 
Now, if I want, if it's not like my curves are not working out deep enough, I could take my, um, any tool will work, but I could take um, a tool like a popsicle stick or my blending tool, my purple blending tool, and I could carve this out even more. So I could come back in here and carve out this twist and look how I'm turning the twist as I carve it out, I'm turning it. You see that? And so I can carve this out even deeper if I want to. If I didn't get very deep grooves, I could carve this out. And again, I can use other tools too. If I want to use this tool, I could use this tool. I probably could use my spoon if I wanted to. And I could just keep on carving that away. So I'm starting to get kind of a twisty, turny type stem here. Okay. Now, if I want to, I can cut it off. If it's too long and I want to cut it off, I could cut it off. I could also bend it down if I want to bend it down like this. And there's still some places that have some uh, cracks and stuff that I probably need to fix, but I can fix those when they're on the pumpkin. So now I'm going to place it on my pumpkin here. And you can see it's a pretty big stem. Um, so. Um, I could make it smaller if I wanted to, or I could just leave it really big like this. Now, I can't just put it on my pumpkin and say, okay, I'm done. I have to slip and score on this. So what I want to do is, if you have a fork, I, you know, you could use a fork for this, and I have one right here, and I'm going to score on the underside of this stem. Notice how I score nice and deep. I've got a little bit of slip on here too, so that doesn't hurt any at all, okay? Now I kind of want to score on my pumpkin wherever it's going to be. So I kind of put that on there, kind of see where this is going to be, and I want to score on my pumpkin. Nice and deep, because this is a little bit dry, I want to make this, this scoring nice and deep, okay? Now I'm gonna get a little bit of slip from my, my slip bowl here. Put some slip on there. And if I feel I need to, I could put a little slip on my stem too. Depending on how dry it is. Sometimes I will put, if it's a little bitty piece, I'll put water on there. I think that works and slip gets a little messy on little bitty pieces and water works out better. So I'm kind of like scoring the slip in here. And if I need to add a little bit more, I can add a little bit more. Okay, so now what I wanna do is I wanna take it on here and I wanna really press this in. I mean, look how I'm pressing that thing in there. I mean, I'm, I'm super pressing it in. I wanna make sure that it really adheres and there's no air bubbles. I'm like wiggling around, I'm pressing it down and I'm pressing it all in there. Now I've got kind of a mess there with the slip. I can go ahead and just kind of smooth that away if I want to. And I do, because I think it will look better. I'm gonna just smooth that stuff away. If you have a little paintbrush, sometimes a paintbrush comes in handy here, maybe one bigger than this. I got a one really little paintbrush here. You can kind of like paint it in the cracks and probably a bigger paintbrush would work better, okay? Notice I'm not blending it in to my pumpkin because a stem looks like it sits on top of a pumpkin. It doesn't look like it is blending into a pumpkin. So I don't wanna blend it in. I wanna make them look like they're separate pieces. And I've got a better brush than this. So let me see if I can find a better one that would work better. Okay, I've got this big fat one right here and I can probably do a little bit better job with this but if you don't have a brush just use your finger or use whatever you have so I'm just going to kind of blend away from this and remember I want it to be 
I want the stem to look like it's kind of sitting on top, but I've got to make sure that it is um, nice and firmly connected. So that's why I squirted it really well. I put plenty of slip on there. I really push them together because what you don't want to do is pick up your pumpkin by the stem and have it bust right off and then your pumpkin fall to the ground. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is since I've got this brush, I'm going to see if I can fix some of my cracks here on my stem. And I'm just going to fix these up now. Now what I want to do is I can continue to work on this and I, I can try to fix these with this brush. I'm going to try to fix these cracks a little bit. Um, just smoothing those in and that will probably help a little. And this is kind of nice to have once in a while a brush like this. But again, if you don't have one, you can use your fingers. You can use any other tool that you can think of that will work. And you have to just try some things and see what happens. So I'm kind of smoothing that out, getting rid of the slip on the outside, making sure it's nice and firm. Um, I want to make sure that I'm very careful. Never pick it up by the stem because it could bust off really easily. Okay. Um, so you pick it up always by the bottom like this and be very careful, especially when it gets uh, bone dry. You remember when it gets bone dry, it uh, gets brittle and then uh, you, you would easily break it. You don't want to break it after you've done like, you know, a couple weeks of work to it, you know. Um, you know what I was saying before with your other projects, you might, as you kind of go along, you might even want to take pictures of these things. Take pictures of your project in progress and then if then anything ever happens and you destroy it by accident or your brother destroys it or your sister destroys it or your cat destroys it, at least you have some pictures that you could turn in and, and um, I can give you some grade for it. Might not be able to give you the grade I could have given you, but you could always redo it. You're an artist. You know, you could always redo it. So now I've got like a stem on here. If I don't like that long stem and I want to cut it off a little shorter, I could cut it off a little shorter, okay? And then I can wait until it gets a little bit drier and I can smooth it a little bit more if I want to. Or if you would prefer it having like more of a texture to it, you could, I mean, come along here and put some lines in here. You could carve into it. So we're kind of making an additive and a subtractive sculpture because we're... Um, removing material to make like the shape of it. And then, uh, you know, we might add, we added the stem to it. So that's an added part. So if you wanted to, you want to make a texture on it, you could draw these lines on here, or you could do something different. But I do want you to make sure that it is done well. Don't just draw it on there and say, okay, good. I want you to do a good job on it. Okay, and try some different things. So here, what I did was I drew some lines on there and then I just took a little bit of water on this brush and swept away some of it, some of the lines. I'm not trying to smooth it. I'm just adding some water to it and sweeping away the hard edges. So you're welcome to put the lines on here if you want to, but if you prefer the other way, it looks where it looks kind of smooth, you could do that too. It's your decision what you want to do. Okay, so I can, I'll can i continue working on this and I'll spend some time on it. I Usually it takes about, I don't know, to do a good stem. You know, I will spend hmm, maybe 20 minutes on it. You guys might have to spend more time because I'm faster probably than you because I've done it a lot of times and you haven't but you kind of get the gist of what we're going for right here with the, the lines and you can kind of see those. So it gives it kind of a texture and I could keep texturing this and you keep on working on it. So don't just um, do this in a couple of minutes and say, I'm done. I don't want you to do that because when you do that, it just doesn't look that good and you won't be happy with it. And when you see what other people do, you'll be like, oh, you know, I didn't spend enough time on mine and it'll be obvious. So please spend the time that it takes to do a good job, you know, and, um, you know, make me proud of, of you, the way you worked hard on it. And hopefully it looks good, you know. I'm hoping that when you bring these in, I'm just super impressed with 
that's the quality and the work and the effort that I can see everyone made with their, their pumpkin, okay? Um, so that is how you make the stem. Next time, we are going to start working on the face.